Oh, nice. That was a good reversal. Yeah, he actually managed to get oh. out, uh, only to be forced back in again. Oh, oh no, 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 he missed the combo. Oh, is it gonna get it? Is it the Dunkyaku EX? Oh, oh it he gets is. it. I mean, people, <laughs> you know. Oh, wow. Okay. Can Pretty Boy Pro pull it out? Oh, oh no. he gets thrown. This is gonna be so bad. Oh, and he got the trade. Oh, okay. Okay, I think I'm up. So yeah, we got really Yagami coming up against Baboon, Baboon Lover next. Uh, Ixion takes it 2-0. Uh, Pretty Boy Fraud sent to losers. Uh, now we're gonna have Yagami, another of uh, Sweden's top eight players, uh, going up against Baboon Lover from Gothenburg, a Adon player. He's uh, he's pretty he's pretty good. Baboon Lover, min bror. Tyvärr så är det inte det, jag är ledsen. Uh, jag vet, jag ber om ursäkt för det. Ja, uh, jag, jag vet, jag ber om ursäkt för det. Men uh, vi, vi, sladdarna funkar inte riktigt. Sorry. Tja! Um, men alltså, vi har ingen avsikt av att taska eller något. Så jag hoppas att det inte blir allt för jobbigt. Jag försvarar det, jag är ledsen. Se om du kan sno hörlurar från någon. Det är många som kör med musik för att slippa oss. Ja, jag Okej. Hemskt ledsen i alla fall. Okej, så... Madby, Madby. Gothenburg vs Stockholm. Yeah, it's Gothenburg vs Stockholm, so we got Apos here on the mic with me. Yeah, I'm back for more. Yeah, we did Marvel Top 8 yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. Uh, and now we got Baboon Lover from Gothenburg going up against Yagami from Stockholm. Yagami known as one of the top eight players in Sweden and he got second in the Sweden cha Swedish Championship at Dreamhack this year. Yes. Uh, Baboon Lover is definitely a competent player, but is he at the top eight level? That's doubtful, but I think de depending on what Yagami picks here, the matchup is going to have a huge significance. Yeah, Since definitely. Since Baboon, uh, Baboon plays Adon. Yeah. Adon, definitely one of the strongest characters right now. Yeah. But Yagami lately has been playing a lot of uh, Bison. Bison. Yeah, yeah, Dictator. So I'd say Dictator is probably uh, yeah. just as good as Adon. Or at least yeah. very... I mean, they're pretty close to each other in the tier of things. Uh, this would probably go differently if Yagami had still been playing Dalton yeah. exclusively, but uh, he hasn't been doing that for quite some time now. Uh, Dictator served him really well so far, so... Uh, Let's see what, what we'll get here. Yeah. So it's gonna be a lot of neutral game, a lot of standing hard kicks from both parts here. Definitely, definitely. I don't know if anyone got a superior uh, poke in this matchup. I have, I mean, I haven't seen this matchup a lot, but I just have a hard time seeing anything being better than Adon's standing hard kick. Yeah. Okay, so Baboon Lover facing it well. Oh, oh no! Punish. Oh, that's unfortunate, but... Doesn't get punished yeah, for it, Yeah, Yagami no. didn't really do anything about it either. Okay, so... He gets the scissor kick. Oh yeah, there comes that standing hard kick you were talking about. Like I said, it's gonna be a very neutral game here. Definitely, a lot definitely. of pokes being thrown out. It's not gonna be as oh, rushed down heavy as the last nice game. Nice hit confirm here from Baboon. Yeah. Cross up is red. Nice tech. Definitely. So he's. I mean, while he has this advantage, I kind of want him to keep his space because we already have half the time ran out. Yeah. And oh. You don't want to let dictator like. You don't want to get in on. Oh wow, that's good. Nice. Okay, so. So well, starting up some pressure yeah, here from Yagami. is definitely feel, feeling that he needs to start pressuring him more because, in a match like this where it's such a passive game. Letting someone have the life lead for too long can ruin the game for you. But he gets some good kicks in. Uh, while Baboon is still in the lead, they're pretty close now. Yeah. Oh, oh and he gets sweet. Nice. Okay, he gets out of the Psycho Crusher, but he needs to make something happen. He gets the throw. He's ahead now. Can he get the cross up? He does not. But he buys a lot of time with that block string and the throw. Ooh, that's oh, now sweet. he's behind again. And Yagami is so ahead right now. It's so dangerous, but he has to do something. Time is running out. He has to make something happen right oh, now. He can. Okay, Agami takes the first match. Well, not the first match, the first round. Yeah, first Sorry. round. Um, very nice game so far. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, I'm very impressed with the Moon level right now because, I mean, like I said in the beginning, he's definitely a competent player. But seeing him play this well against someone like Yagami, it's, it's impressive. Yeah, definitely, definitely. 
So we got a super active now for Baboon. Yeah, that's dangerous on Adon because Ooh. even in chip situations, he can do some dangerous stuff if he keeps He could have altered that teleport. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh yeah, he's running Ultra Wong because uh, Yagami told me earlier that the timing is very, very strict, but that's the only way Adam can punish... Uh, teleport. No, the, yeah. uh, well, that too, but the EX Psycho Pressure. Oh. Yeah, so if he times it correctly, he can oh, punish nice. it very hard. Okay, so they're pretty much even again. And he does. He goes for the chip and then we have to see. Oh, that's going to be ultra. ultra. Okay, so Yagami takes that's the confirmed. first match. But these are very close matches. Yeah. But Boon Lover's not giving up in any any sense. No, and he shouldn't either. He's they're doing very, very well. Okay. Going straight into the second match yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't want to waste any seconds. Okay, let's see what he can do. And it's just going to be this yeah. fight for space, yeah, nice I mean, normal I mean, game. Dictator is a relentless character. I mean, it's very hard to adjust the game to anything other than his own pace. If he's in the game, he kind of dictates how the game is going to... Oh, oh wow. nice option slide. I didn't know that worked. That's an op that was an option slide. Oh my god. Okay, so... Oh no, this is oh, going to be another ultra, again. yeah. But, I mean, he's definitely not dead, but he's in a bad situation now. He does have an ultra of his own, but... I don't think Yagami's going to make any reckless teleports while the ultra's up. He does get an EX uppercut, and that's good, but he's just not landing that cross up any. He should mix it up a bit. Yeah, he's been going in front a few times, and when he's done it, it's paid off for him so far. Yeah, definitely. I think uh, Yagami's pretty much only expecting the cross up at this point. Man, this is scary right this now. This is tense. Yeah, I mean, any scissor kick that hits is gonna kill him. So he has to really be on this game and be prepared to block here. Oh, wow, it didn't kill, but it... It just got one yeah, hit. It's just, yeah, exactly. So it's got just this little sliver, and he gets a Jaguar kick, but can't get anything else from it. Oh, the chip. Oh, he... Oh, oh. misread. Desperation kicked in. I respect it, though. I mean, he was expecting a button, and he went with his gut. Unfortunately, it didn't pay off. Okay, not so sure of that sweep, but it did pay off. Um, oh man, he's really got the pressure going now. Oh, This is tough for Baboon Lover. Baboon needs to slow it down a little bit. Definitely. Just establish himself in the game here. Yeah, I think he got, just running wild. I think he got really flustered after doing that ultra. Because, I mean, do, doing an ultra and having it like... Yeah, and that's oh, the wow. game. And that's perfect. Oh man. Okay, so Yagami sends Baboon Lover to losers, but after that performance, I think we can expect to see Baboon Lover on stream again. Yeah, definitely. I think the it's only gonna thing is st stick around in losers for a while. Yeah. I, we didn't see a lot of adap uh, adap uh, adapting from Baboon Lover. Yeah. I like to see him just try and pace the game towards his uh, kind of playstyle. Yeah. Just. You saw a lot of gr grabs going in, not a lot of frame traps. No, that's true. Just adjust that game a little bit, just be... Uh, I shouldn't say more offensive, but just more technically offensive. Yeah, offensive in a different sense, basically. Yeah. And also what we were talking about was, whenever he went for the cross-up, it didn't go in. But when he didn't go for the cross-up, it yeah. did go in. And I mean, I understand his desire to want to mix it up, but if it keeps working, you gotta keep doing it. and. Like, get, uh, that's what I think anyway. Yeah. And get the opponent to expect the wrong thing, basically. Yeah. So that w once he once he stops blocking the regular one, yeah. that's when you go back to the cross -up. You gotta condition your opponent to, demand to do their wrong thing. Exactly, things, exactly. Okay, uh, so uh, we're gonna... What's uh, the result? All right. Sure. Oh, oh we, got, damn. we got another match here, a good one coming up. We got Boblin. Uh, just not me to losers uh, with the most hilarious mix-up ever. Did you see it? <laughs> no, I didn't see uh, it. He did overhead FADC into Ocho Pro. It was what? hilarious. It was hilarious. <laughs> so what? Yeah, he actually said, because I did a comeback on him the round before, yeah. and after he did the FADC Ocho, he yelled, If you're gonna troll me, I'm gonna troll you! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we got him going up against Arthen, uh, who played... Uh, last time I met him, a year Yo. ago, he played Hakan. Second, I'll be right back. Okay. Yeah. Oh, 
So a year ago, at this same event, uh, this same venue, uh, Artem uh, played Hakan, and he, yeah, he still does. So him going up against Bublin means that he actually won his first match um, off stream, uh, and now we've got Bublin uh, with his hand. Bublin played uh, played uh, Street Fighter 4 a lot before AE, but in AE he dropped it. And Artem's been playing, I don't know how long, but he, he does play S4 as his main game, as far as I know. Uh, he says, he, he, when talking to me, he said that Hakan was a stronger character than a lot of people realize. And I mean, we saw Hakan in the uh, top four of Evo this year, so yeah, I'm sure he is a pretty strong character compared to what a lot of people expect. Uh, so we, we're seeing them being very neutral here, uh, cautious. Uh, a good strategy to have against Honda because. If you do a mistake against Honda, he's really gonna let you feel it. Hakan definitely not as scary when his oil's gone. Um, he needs to find a situation to oil up because when he's oiled up, he has such good normals, it's insane. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can get someone to join me on commentary here. Bjorn! Uh, Okay, so we're gonna have Ethelman join me on uh, commentating. Uh, oh, Ethelman, uh, one of the top eight players in Sweden. We've got uh, three of the uh, top eight players here right now. Uh, Yagami, who you saw on stream, and also uh, Ixion, who's on stream, and Ethelman, who's joining me here on commenta uh, commentary right now. Hello. Uh, so what we got here is Bublin playing Honda. You know he doesn't play a he doesn't play SF4 much anymore. But uh, he is a very seasoned player. And then we've got Artin, a uh, Hakan player. I'm not exactly sure where in Sweden he's from, but I met him last year here at Turbo, and I think you did too. Uh, I might have. Uh, yeah. I, don't, I don't actually remember. But uh, is I this the first match? Yeah, yeah. This is the first okay, match. So, uh, so uh, yeah, Artin's up one round right now. I would imagine uh, Bublin. Uh, Probably doesn't know this matchup. Really. Yeah, I don't think <laughs> I don't think Bublin's ever played against. No, Hakan. because Hakan wasn't really in the game when he played it. So. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I mean, he still played in Super, but I don't think anyone played Hakan in Super. No, probably not. It yeah, was pretty bad. He still yeah, is I, I mean, he's bad. got he's gotten better now, but he's still. I mean, I do think he's not that good, but I also think that he's underestimated. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Most, um, most of the that's true for most of the low tiers, though. Yeah, definitely. Like, I mean, characters like Dudley aren't very good, but if you meet him and someone who can play him like you, you're probably gonna get bodied. Yeah, <laughs> because uh, you don't know you don't know what he can do. Yeah. Okay, so uh, what Bob do you feel about this matchup, though? I mean, I Honda mean, versus Akan. I, I think this should be this shouldn't be too bad for Akan. I think. Yeah, because I mean, Akan wants to like. Uh, but isn't, isn't that one of his strong points? Like he can uh, absorb um, uh, hits uh, uh, when he yeah. focuses, and then ca cancel the dash to, um, to yeah, that's uh, true. normals. Hands and he can't do that versus Honda. Because yeah, because he can hand, hands shuts that down. But I, oh, I also feel like characters. Oh my God! I, I mean, Hakan fares really badly against Soners, and mm -hmm. while H Honda is definitely not a Soner, but he does have the headbutt and he does have the hands that shuts down the focus. And it seems like he can punish the headbutt even on block. So. Yeah, maybe, you know, it could be true for the reverse too. Maybe Artem doesn't know this matchup so well because not a lot of players play Honda either. Yeah, that's true. Definitely. Uh, but yeah, like you said, the focus approach is not working well. Yeah, Basically, I, I, it's leaving a con without an option to get in because we're seeing a lot of him doing the oil side and the FAD seeing because, well, he's being blocked when he's doing it. Yeah. And Bobman's very on point with the ducking that grab. Yeah, yeah, because he thinks that Bobman is gonna jump back all the time. Yeah, Bobman plays pretty. Bobman doesn't jump. No, he, <laughs> he plays the, the down back side. So yeah, no. yeah, yeah, definitely. I think though that uh, I don't really see why he can play over two in this matchup. Do you see no, him? no, because I, I mean I guess but smashes are punishable. Yeah, with yeah, Dr. exactly. One, so there's like really no point. Yeah, it does seem a bit weird. That that might be a testament even more to. What I was saying that maybe he just isn't familiar with the Honda matchup. Yep. And now he got a bot time and the ultra never happened. Anyway. Yep. Yeah, but because it's much harder to react to the bot uh, with the ultra 2 than just punishing it with the ultra 1. Yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah. yeah, it's really weird. But 
Okay, so I don't had... play the character he does, so yeah, maybe yeah, no something I don't know. Uh, so Arthur had a very strong showing in the first round, but he's really fallen off afterwards. Yeah. I guess I'll have to take back my statement. I guess this is a pretty bad match for Arthur. I mean, I can't. I, I, I wasn't exactly saying it was. Ex